looking rough because in my PJs, skincare is all done, dinner has been had, dishwasher is running, it's press on nail time. I'm bringing it back to where it all started. I had a video that went viral over press on nails and I think I have found a press on nail company that has taken it to a whole new level. That is BartBox. You may have seen them here on TikTok, because I did, and then I found and purchased them on Amazon, but they also have their own website. So they, they hand make their nails out of gel, and I ought to say they are definitely different than any other press-on nail I have ever worn. They feel different, they look different, and they're so comfortable. They come with glue as well as the sticky tabs. So you can use both or just one. I put these nails on tonight with just glue. These are coming in at like $16 and change on Amazon. And I've also gone to their website and they're like a dollar cheaper, maybe even only like 60 cents cheaper. But obviously we all know the shipping on Amazon has a hold on us like no other. They say reusable, so you could potentially get two to three wears out of these. This style is called morning coffee, and it's a bunch of different browns, which I thought was going to be perfect for fall. I put these on tonight. I'm going to wear them and see how long they last. Um, this is an almond shape, which I absolutely love. I'm well aware that I have the fattest, ugliest thumb in all the universe, so no matter what um, press on nail I put on. It looks ridiculous. And I'm not going to really file this down too much because of that French tip that's on there in the brown color. There wouldn't be any left if I really went to the right size. So I found a new press on nail company, Bart Box. I bought these and another pair. Hold on, let me show you. These are like a neutral uh, square. So I have these um, to wear next. So we'll see if I when I have to put these on. But overall, I think these are a really, really good option for a press on nail. And I think they look really good, minus my thumbs. Don't look at the thumbs. It, I, I wish. I, I don't know. Who else has a thumb like this? But for $16 and change and being sold on Amazon can be on your front porch like that. These are a great option for press on nails. I'm very impressed. I linked the morning coffee in my bio so you can go check them out and then you can check out all the other designs that BartBox has on Amazon. The Halloween ones are killer. BartBox press on nail, day two. All in all, these are pretty damn good. I will tell you I had one jump ship. Hold on, let me turn you around. This guy jumped ship yesterday and I had to cut down my thumbs because I literally couldn't function on how long they were. But all I did was soaked it in some hot water and dish soap, buffed off the glue and re-glued it and it's totally fine. Now, that comment, I would say right there. See it? But that is the only little spot that's basically discolored on all the nails. I got two compliments yesterday, two girls that said, oh my God, I love your nails. And for $16 and about 35 minutes of my time to put on these nails, I think they're a win. Art box, press on nails, day four. I'm sitting down to remove these nails just because this is the reason I wear press-ons because I have commitment issues and I'm personally ready to just take these off. But I am on day four, and let me tell you, solid. This is going to be a minute for me to soak these off, which I'm going to do with super hot water and dish soap. And let me tell you, on the second day, one of you followers who follow me said to put a top coat on them, which I did, which if I wear these again or when I wear these again, I will put the top coat on day one. So many compliments, like six total, from people that I know and people that I don't know, okay? Along with the hot water, I did use a drop of this Kiss Glue Off Instant False Nail Remover on each nail, and this hand popped right off. 
I would have to say the number one question that people ask all the time is, is your nails damaged after you put glue on and wear press-ons? And for me, never. It's all on the removal. Don't be ripping off your gel polish or your press-on nails. Once again, four days in, they look absolutely amazing. I had one pop off. The rest are rock solid. I'm taking these off because I personally don't want them on anymore. And now that I don't have nails on the left hand, I can put my uh, finger right underneath there and slowly lift up. So there's no pulling. Done. And yeah, there's some glue on there if you can see this. But I'm going to buff that off and I'm going to soak my nails. So no worries. Okay, guys, in the spirit of time, what I did was buffed out my nails, took off all that glue that was on there. I put two coats of the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails on, and then I went around my cuticles with some vitamin E oil, and that is what they look like. No damage. They don't hurt. I truly love press-on nails because me personally, I can't make a commitment. I wore them for four days. The next time I put press-ons will be probably the next time I have something going on, which isn't for a few weeks. So... Bartbox is solid with the press-ons. I linked them in my bio.